louder. What's up guys, it's Razor Sheen. Today I'm going to be showing you a short tutorial on how to play H1Z1 in full screen windowed mode. Now this guy was provided to me by All Havoc, he's a guild member and a real good friend, so I'm giving him all the credit, he showed me this guide, it's very easy to do, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you play H1Z1, chances are you have a Steam account, so what you want to do is you want to open up Steam, and when you open up Steam you want to go to your library section. So in your library, you want to locate H1Z1, which is going to be right here. And when you do, you want to right click on it. And then you want to go all the way down to the bottom and click on properties. Now, once you click on properties, you can have all these different tabs right here. The tab that we want is local files. So go ahead and click on local files. And then once we've clicked on local files, you want to click on browse local files. So now you're going to have this big old list come up now what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and what we want to locate is user options dot ini so user options dot ini it's going to be at the very bottom very easy to find and so once you found it just double click on it and you're going to have notepad open up so now the two items that we're going to be changing is mode equals full screen and full screen mode equals full screen so first we're going to start off mode equals so what we want to do is delete full screen. Do not delete mode or the equals button at all. So as I said, go to mode equals and then what we're going to be placing in is windowed full screen. No spaces, uh, you, you don't need to put any type of caps in it or anything. So just type windowed full screen. So now we're going to jump down to full screen mode. Go ahead and delete full screen again. And what we want to place in there is windowed. So just like that, make sure you don't have any type of spelling errors, uh, make sure that's all correct. And once that is finished, you click on file, oops, click on file and hit save. And it's as simple as that guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the short tutorial. Um, I'm going to be leaving a link down to our website um, where all have it created this guide. Uh, we actually have a website in the works right now that we're going to be blogging about different games, having different guides, and just chatting about you know everyday stuff. So go ahead and check out that website for for more guides about gaming commentary, you know whatever. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.